welcome to a sneak preview of iOS 7, the new iOS that was announced on Monday, and kind of its new features. The first thing I want to show you is the new lock screen that you're going to see right here. Um, well, this is kind of a big change for Apple. Um, you see from the lock screen, you can now access the notification center from the top and control center from the bottom, which is a new feature. And you can also slide from anywhere on the screen um, to unlock. So I'll just slide from left to right to go into the OS and you'll see here kind of the new UI, the colors and everything. So it's kind of a big difference. One nice addition is the new folders, which zoom in when you tap on them instead of splitting up the screen. And then the folders have pages in them as well. So that's a really nice addition to folders. Um, one thing we I touched on just a second ago is new control center. Just from the bottom, you swipe up, um, and you have access to things like your Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, as well as screen brightness, and then you can also turn on things like the flashlight as well, without having to go into a flashlight app. So that's a nice addition. We also have within control center um, a feature called AirDrop that will allow you to share photos, files, and documents with people um, without having to send uh, text messages, emails, or bump phones. Um, it just kind of works um, similar to how it works on a Mac. Just searches for it as long as it's a phone with iOS 7, um, it'll work not a problem. Um, we also have a change to the weather app. So if we go within weather here, um, you see kind of a nice graphic look of weather. Um, just gives you probably the best looking weather app you can find. Um, Yahoo had made one similar to it, so this is a nice um, kind of take like that. Uh, but now you don't have to download a separate weather app onto your iOS and take up space. Uh, let's see here. We also have Safari, which has gotten a bit of a facelift. So as you see here, as we scroll, um, the, the settings will kind of disappear into the background, your back and forward menus and stuff like that. Um, another nice new feature of Safari is this button in the bottom right gives you easy access to tab browsing so you can see your tabs in a really nice view and you can also enable private browsing just right here there in the bottom left hand corner so you don't have to go into the settings to turn on private browsing so that's a kind of a brief overview view, overview of Safari Another addition and update um, to iOS 7 is the in improved multitasking. So just like on iOS 6, you double tap your home button and then you'll get access to all your apps here. You just uh, go ahead and double tap, tap on the app you want to go to, and then you'll jump from app to app seamlessly, um, really without much of a problem and very quickly. Um, if you want to close an app that might be running in the background, just go into multitasking, swipe up, and then that will close the app and then it won't be taking your battery battery life anymore. So uh, multitasking got a much needed update. In terms of photos, if you have hundreds of or thousands of photos on your phone like I do, um, you get a much easier looking um, way to organize your photos via years, collections, uh, so you don't have to start scrolling through pages and pages of photos. You can really get in and see groups of photos and really narrow down which ones you want to look at very easily and very quickly within the Photos app on iOS 7. iTunes Radio within the iTunes app is a big addition. So if you're familiar with Pandora, it works virtually the exact same way. Um, you can add a station via artist, genre, or song, and then it will find th that artist and like artists and songs and allow you to listen to them, like them, not like them, and really learn your tastes. And it's uh, very um, low on ads right now, so I'm very impressed with iTunes Radio. Um, and it's already built into iOS, so you don't have to download another app, um, similar to like uh, Pandora or Spotify or anything like that. We also have an addition to Siri. Um, she's got a little bit of a fa uh, an upgrade, so if we go ahead and give her a test here. What's the weather today? Here's the forecast for today. So you see Siri's got a little bit of a, an upgrade. Um, she sounds more human and um, it has kind of the same theme that you see within the whole OS, um, kind of that translucent look, which is really kind of slick and very nice to look at. If you just look here on the face, you see the clock app. Um, it actually moves, it's animated, and it gives you real time. So that's uh, actual time that's going on right now, and you see the small hand moving. Um, so that just a feature like that is kind of what makes iOS 7 really unique and really cool. Other apps like the camera have improved. They've taken FaceTime out of the phone. Um, so now when you go within the phone, it's just the phone itself. And the cool thing is as you dial, your wallpaper will show up in the background. 
um, which is just kind of a nice little detail there. And then um, also you got like the parallax and uh, on the wallpaper, um, so you can actually have kind of a three-dimensional look on the wallpaper. Unfortunately, on this demonstration, I really can't show it to you. <laughs> um, you really have to be kind of in the front of the phone to see it. It's pretty impressive. So um, iOS 7 is very cool. It's it's going to be awesome when it comes out in the fall. Um, right now it's in beta, so it'll be interesting to see how the beta progresses to a final product and what um, changes they make and improvements they make from now until the, the final product. So um, it comes out in the fall. The good news is all iOS devices that are being sold today will run iOS 7. So if you're waiting for new hardware for iOS 7, no need. Existing hardware will already run it. So um, if you're waiting for a new product, you may as well pick it up now and get ready for iOS 7 in the fall. So. Um, that's all we got. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Um, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.